All right, I am on my way to the library, and uh, today I saw a, a post from a close friend of mine. Uh, for those who don't know, I used to uh, be in business and I with a with a partner, and I left that business in November of 2022. And uh, in that process, like a couple months before I left, or after I left. Um, there was this opportunity that was had that I could have been part of that is a once in a lifetime opportunity. There's only one person in the world who has this opportunity and that is my former business partner. And uh, they have really grown tremendously from this and it has been really incredible to see and to hear about. And I could have been part of this and I know that there are people who may uh, have looked at that when I walked away and thought, dang, that's not a good decision. You know, that's not smart because it, it really is a, a very valuable opportunity that it's once in a lifetime, as I mentioned. And I don't mean that by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, I just was on Instagram I don't know, like an hour ago, and I saw uh, some pictures. And, uh, you know, this, uh, this once in a lifetime opportunity has evolved and it has led uh, to my friend having uh, great success from this. And I look at that and I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of them because I remember just being in the trenches with them, you know, like, trying to grow our business and just struggling, man, going through the fucking struggle, problem solving, thinking of so many different angles and so many different like ways. And we put fucking so much effort. We gave our all into the business and I, I decided to walk away from it. And the reason why I decided to walk away from it is because it just didn't feel in alignment with me. I didn't really, like on the surface, yeah, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, but I wasn't connected to it. Like, I didn't care about it. I only cared about it for the status that it would give me and not necessarily uh, the, the joy of the activity itself and the reason why I also feel like I don't have regret around this is because I I remember in 2017 I, I took uh, acid for the first time and when I took acid I realized that um, in order for me to like accomplish like my biggest goals and dreams I had to cut my like current best friend out of my life and it took me months to actually pull the trigger to do that and I did I finally did it like nine months later and uh, to this day one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make in my fucking life dude probably the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life and because I was trying to change my friend to be somebody else I wanted them to invest in themselves I wanted them to read books I wanted them to go on the personal development journey with me and they didn't want to take that walk with me so for two years I mean I was just lonely as shit man and it hurt it hurt so fucking much dude but I just knew that I had to walk away from that I just knew it and two years later I meet my friend who ended up becoming my business partner and ended up being the most beautiful relationship I've ever had very beautiful very 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 beautiful relationship and we got to travel Europe 
and the United States together. It was incredible. And I would not have been able to do that had I not walked away from my friend two years before. There's no way. There's no way I could have done that without cutting him out. And I was rewarded tremendously for it. I was rewarded, rewarded so much for doing that. And I look at it in a similar light. I wasn't connected to the work that I was doing. And I felt like I didn't have creative freedom. And it had nothing to do with the people that I worked with. It had more so to do with the structure of the business. It didn't call for my creative freedom, for my limitless creation. It would be similar to me working at a great burger place. And for me, I'm like, dude, we can make these really fucking great tacos, man. These tacos can be really fucking good, dude. Like, we can garnish it this way and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, Greg, like, but we're a burger shop. Like, we don't make tacos. And the structure of that business, I, I won't be able to thrive as a taco man in the burger business. So I had to leave. And uh, I'm so proud of my friend. I'm so, so, so proud of, I'm so proud of them. There's no way that I would ever hate on the success of my friends. To hate on success is to hate myself. Truthfully. If I hate success, I would never obtain it. I would never obtain it. And as a matter of fact, it's fucking inspiring. It's like, damn, bro, look at what a motherfucker can put together. And not just that, but it's like, okay, it also gives me faith like, damn, bro, you can struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle. But on the uh, on the other end of it, man, like, you can win bigger than you could have possibly imagined. And I got to witness that. And it inspires me right now because I have zero dollars. I have actually negative $51 in my bank account right now. I'm $20,000 in debt. I work at Chili's. <laughs> but let me tell you something, bro. My heart's connected to my creative work. I love what I'm doing. And people look at where I'm at as face value in terms of, oh, look at where you're at, man. Like, all that stuff, maybe, you know, personal development didn't work or maybe you shouldn't have walked away from that. You could have been in a better position. You got to think about your future and all that kind of stuff. But like, they don't see what I see. They don't have the experiences that I've experienced. And I have full faith that I am going to make it out on the other side bigger than I could possibly imagine. But not just that, because it's not about the external things. Because I, when I traveled the world while with my friend, we did things that I could never even fucking have ever possibly imagined that we would do. And it was my dream to travel the world while having my own business. It was my dream to do that. It was such a massive goal. Like, I, I doubted, like, can I actually fucking do that? And at the end of it, I still felt the same. I thought it was going to make me feel good about myself. I thought it was finally going to solve the internal conflicts that I had with myself emotionally. And it didn't at all. And here I was striving for something external this whole time. And what I realized is... The journey is everything, man. The best part of the travel was the travel. The best part of the travel was being able to do it, was being engaged in it. The problem solving. Yeah, we have some really cool things that came out of that, some really awesome experiences 
that came out of that that we both separately use for marketing but what's most important is like am I connected to what is it that I'm doing do I love what I'm doing and even though I am where I'm at in my life I'm still happy to be where I'm at I was up at 3.30 or uh, 3.20 in the morning studying marketing, writing out an ad for the Real Nigga Bible to post on X. And I loved it. I loved the creative process. I loved learning about these psychological triggers and I love learning about a trigger and think about, oh, how can I integrate that in my ad? Okay, and seeing how, where the puzzles fit, or the, where the pieces fit. And then I'm also thinking about, okay, well, like, I'm not an expert in film. Where can I get some decent film? Right, for cheap. With people who are passionate about it. And it's like, well, I have a connection with somebody over at USC who's getting their MBA, they could potentially connect me with some people over at the film school, probably pay them not that much, maybe a couple hundred bucks, give them a couple copies of my book, film something fun, film the ad, and then it's like, well, late, like after that, let's see what happens. It may not work, it may flop, but it's fucking fun. And to me, that's that's what the fuck I love, man. I love the fun. And it's gonna take me time to, to build my life. I'm starting, I have something that has never been written before and I'm breaking into an industry a completely new industry with comedy. It's gonna take me time to build. I'm starting a whole new life. One that is more congruent to me. And the way I look at it as well, it's like, I'm 28 years old, bro. I am still young as Fuck. Even if I live to just just 80 years old, if I live to just 80 years old, that means in 12 years, I will reach the halfway point of my life. In 12 years. I don't plan on having kids. I'm gonna get my vasectomy in less than 30 days. 29 days from now, as a matter of fact. I have my whole life to commit myself to my art and just who it is that I am and what I've been able to do, I have full certainty that I'm gonna make something happen. Except this time, instead of worshiping the external, I can really be able to enjoy the journey. Now that's easier said than done you know, that's not to say that I'm immune to stress and that every single second is joy and bliss and happiness. Nah, man, I've had several times being up at 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.30 a.m., stressed out of my motherfucking mind, bro. I want to go to sleep, but I'm so stressed that I can't, and I got to figure out how to de-stress myself before I go to bed. Because my mind is racing. My body is, you know, in fight or flight. But that's that's part of the journey, man. That's part of the fucking process. And I'm doing it for something that I fucking stand by. I'm doing it for something that means everything to me. means everything 
and I, now I have the independence and the creative freedom to do and move how I want. I don't have the limitation of the structure of the business to limit how I move. So yeah, I'm really happy for my friend's success. I'm so excited to see my friend succeed even more. It's inspiring, dog. And what a privilege it is to have friends like that, man. To have friends who are doing big things in life. It's a fucking privilege, dog. It's a privilege. It's a fucking privilege. It's fucking beautiful. And you know what? It's fucking inspiring, man. I wasn't going to go to the library until I saw that picture. I'm like, damn, bro, I got work to do. <laughs> All right. Let's fucking go, man. Let's get our asses up. Let's fucking get our asses to the library. Let's get some videos edited. Let's read. Let's create the ad. And let's go to, let's go to jujitsu. We have work we need to do today. How is that bad? That's just fucking inspiring, dog. So, uh, yeah, I don't regret it, man. I don't regret it whatsoever. I don't regret it. My homie deserves all the success that's coming their way, and you know they're gonna do hundreds of millions of dollars in their lifetime. And uh, I mean, they're just getting started, bro. They're just getting started. <laughs> Bro, it's beautiful. And I'm also excited to see my life unravel in a way that's more congruent for me. That's in alignment for me. That matches up with my skills, my desires, my motivations. And to build out my life that's very specific for me and not necessarily what other people think that I should be and how I should live I'm doing it my way bro I walked away from it for a reason and I stand by it and I'm at peace with that decision 